Hey, it's Eric at Archive here on a Friday night working on my personal 2004 Sequoia with the 4.7 liter non VVTI uh, V8 engine. And uh, so I've been having, uh, I, I bought it with a, with a ticking noise in the engine um, and I was hoping that a tune up and stuff like that was going to, you know, be able to eliminate that noise but it has persisted and so I did some research and you know started thinking that you know maybe the valve lash uh, needs adjusted or at least check it you know and so so today I first thing I did before I took this valve cover off was um, I did the I did a compression test so the numbers for that um, cylinder one, you know, 200 PSI, and then cylinder three was only 110, um, then 190 and 205. So I was hoping that I was going to find that the valve lash was out of adjustment um, and that that could possibly be fixed and, and fix the issue. So I wanted to share, share this because... Um, you know, a lot of people shy away from doing this, uh, from from even checking, um, and so wanted to share a couple of things about this 2UZ engine. Okay, the the lifter bucket, all right, is directly acted on by the cam lobe. So that right there, there is no shim on top of the bucket. The shim, the adjustment shim, is actually under the bucket. And so, you know, it's not, it's unlike the 3.4 liter um, 5VZ engine uh, that comes in the first gen Tacoma and the third gen 4Runner. Um, that engine, you can actually adjust it with the cams in the engine. Um, but this, apparently, would require the removal of the cams simply to adjust the valve lash. So that is a pretty big deal. Um, it's something you should know. But um, also just checking the valve lash is a good way to just make sure that your engine is in good health. And it's really not hard to check it at all. Um, the valve cover is easy to get out. So you know, you're just taking off the uh, coil coil wires and, um, you know, then the valve cover just kind of pulls right out. Those are the fuel lines there, so, you, you know, you can do it without disrupting those. Anyways, so, yeah, it's looking like there's a major issue here because I checked all the, all the lash on the intakes and the exhaust, um, and they're all pretty close to spec actually so i figure i'll just show you real quick how to how to check it okay let's take a look at that all right so here you take a feeler gauge and you get your cam lobe so that the uh, lobe is pointing at least you know north of horizontal to the uh to the head surface um all right, so you're going to slip that under there. So this feeler gauge is about 8 thou, and it goes, you know, there's a little. So it might be slightly out. Um, I didn't actually look up what the 2UZ was, but, you know, starting at cylinder 1, I mean, it's about 6 or 7 thou. Um, this is around 8, you know, 6, 7 so they're all they're all pretty good on the intake side um you know the the one that i was real interested in is cylinder three right because that's where you know i have low compression so i was anticipating or you know that maybe there'd be some adjustment or there was you know that i could make to to improve the the low um compression psi there so unfortunately these are pretty much in spec, um, so I don't think that's it. So um, the next course I'm going to take is 
Now this is something I learned from uh, Uncle Tony's Garage on YouTube. Um, what I'm going to do here is put a little oil down cylinder three here and we are going to you know crank that over and that will help you check whether what the compression issue is if it's a blown head gasket then it's just going to leak you know the, the oil is not going to help if it's um, a bent valve then the oil is not going to help but possibly if if the just the rings are not sealing very well then that oil sitting on top of the piston is going to help make a seal, you know, while the oil's there. And then that could tell you um, if you get a higher compression reading, then, you know, then it's likely in the rings um, on the piston. So let's give that a shot. Okay, so I didn't do this on camera. But um, what I did was I put a little 5W30 down the hole. I sprayed some WD-40 in there. Uh, before I plugged this in, I just turned it over to make sure that there wasn't too much. And then I uh, plugged in this. So also, I re, you know, I, I took another reading before I even did this, okay? It was down to about 95 from 110. And maybe that was because, you know, it's six hours from the last time it ran. Um, so it was it was way down. Um, so now, you know, after doing the WD-40 and 5W-30 uh, mix down there, we're getting close to 160 now. So to me, that seems to indicate that um, actually the piston rings or something with that is is not good so unfortunately that means that this engine might be on borrowed time um, but anyways just a couple of pointers here um, how to check your valve lash it's not that hard but adjusting it is on the 2UZ um, and wanted to share something I just learned too about taking the, the compression test and uh, how to check for whether it's a lower end problem or a valve, you know, not sealing or something like that. Anyways, have a great weekend. Uh, talk to you soon.